Give lots of information frequently. Generally, you want to over-communicate rather than under-communicate. This is a mistake that I frequently made in my work history, and I don't want you to do the same thing. And I'm going to give you a few examples. I have a friend who hires lots of contractors to work on his house. The ones that he likes the most are those who frequently give him updates on progress and next steps. The other contractors are just as competent, but the perception of them isn't as high because they don't communicate frequently. I've been on both the receiving and delivering end of contracting, so I know this all too well. I used to work tirelessly on projects for clients, but they would sometimes get nervous and feel the need to micromanage the project. But this was really my fault. You see, part of your job as a contractor or an employee is to make sure the people who hired you know what it is you're doing. It's not enough to simply do the job and do it well or do it extremely well. It's almost just as important to communicate what it is that you're doing. Just because you have integrity and work hard doesn't mean anybody will notice. You have to tell people what you're doing. At the end of the project, they'll appreciate you more because they'll feel informed about all the work that happened behind the scenes. They'll value the end result more, knowing what the inputs were. As you reach certain milestones in a project, make sure to update your boss. Make the updates thorough. She or he may not read everything that you send them, but at least the information is there to reference if needed. It also keeps your boss from feeling the need to micromanage you. It makes it look as though you have everything under control. In sales, you can expect certain challenges from your prospective customers. It's best to address these before they have the opportunity to bring them up. The more information you give now, the less likely you will to get resistance later.